in part C, okay, you are asked to find what's the angle of incident of the ray on the side BC. That means to say this ray incident at this point here is the side BC and you are required to find this angle of incident. Now if you were to extend this line, you realize that this is actually a right angle triangle where this is 38.8 which you found previously and this is 90 degree. Therefore, part C, in order to find the angle of incident, what you need to do is, is to take 180 degree minus 90 minus away 38.8 degree and that will be equals to 51.2 degrees. So the angle I over here, the angle I is 51.2 degree. And now take a look at this point here. Will total internal reflection occur? Always check back these two conditions. Is my angle of incident I 51.2 greater than critical angle which is 41.8? Yes, this condition is met. And take a look at the second one. The light is traveling from a denser towards a less dense medium. Therefore, since these two conditions are met, total internal refraction, refraction will occur. So it will come to here. This will be 51.2 degree also. By the way, this diagram is not drawn to scale. Okay. And then this will be the normal. And once again, you have to ask yourself, will total internal refraction take place here? check the angle here, the angle of incident. And if you were to draw the right angle triangle once again, you realize that this is 38.8 degree, which is less than critical angle. Therefore, TIR will be out of the question, so it will be bending of light. And as you know, the light is traveling from a denser towards a less dense medium. The speed of light increases. Okay. So it will just bend away from the normal. And that is how you draw the path throughout until it comes out from the side CD. And of course for this part here, they ask you why, explain why the ray does not emerge out from the side BC. Okay, so you have to, this will be the answer. You say that total internal refraction has occurred because the reason being the two conditions, the I greater than C and the light is traveling from a denser towards a less dense medium. That's how you solve this question.